and welcome to Out and About. I'm Diane Gonzalez, and we are starting our show today at a Lincoln landmark, the Burke Holder Project, a collection of art studios here in the Haymarket. I want to thank artist and entrepreneur Ann Burke Holder for welcoming us, welcoming us to her, her creation, her studio here. And you bought the building here at 7th and P in 25 years ago. 25 years ago. But you've been here even longer than that. Right. Um, I started looking for a studio down in this area after my other studio downtown had an electrical fire and it was no longer usable. And that was 35 years ago. Actually, maybe even a little longer than that. Um, it was down actually right behind this building. So at that time, I started looking at every building down here. Uh, I've always been fascinated with old areas. I think there's something really wonderful about old buildings and sort of the ambiance of the whole area. And at that time, as an artist, I was interested in finding a space where I could live, uh, and I would design my own loft. Uh, I could paint and exhibit my work, and I would be accessible to the public. And there was a, you know, I told this dream to a lot of artists, and so there was a whole bunch of artists even before I signed on the bottom line, I sort of signed up for that type of dream. And today we have 32 studios, we have three loft, and we have four gallery spaces, one of which um, is a regional place where we have people from Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, all over the Midwest. There's people from Colorado. Uh, so there's like 40 professional regional artists that are also involved in the project. Now, people think of you as a Haymarket pioneer. Describe what this area was like 25, 35 oh, years ago. my gosh. Well, uh, when I was first under the viaduct over there, uh, there people were concerned because it was, there was transient down there. They were always going to the city mission, which is, you know, out there on 9th, 9th Street. Um, uh, there were some, really some shady characters down here. <laughs> we're talking drug dealers and, you know, all kinds of these sort of little wacky things going on. So, you know, every, like maybe every hour I'd see a police car, you know, go by. But it was also at that time that I knew this area had a lot of potential. And I had no idea, of course, you know, what was going to happen. But it just was, it just energized me to, you know, think about taking an old building and doing something really wonderful, not just for myself, but for a community of artists. And to have people, you know, they could see works in progress as well as furnished art. And um, I just, the whole idea, I'm still energized by that. And it's a, it's a wonderful community. What makes this building special? What do you think is, is the, the unique atmosphere here? Um, there's a lot of collaboration that goes on in the arts, and it's all very creative. I mean, at the very first, we had people who were interested in dance. Uh, we have had writers. We've had the Jazz Foundation. Uh, and so we're not talking just the visual arts, but every art imaginable. We've had, I mean, we've had printing presses here. We have, like, at this moment, we have, like, 14, 16 photographers. Um, we have paper makers. Um, stained glass, we have, you know, it's just I don't, three or four potters. It's just a whole range. Now you mentioned there's also living space, so mm -hmm. this is this mm -hmm. is your work and your home. It is, it is. I, get, I, I sit out there on the first of May and farmer's market has started, and it's just, there's all this energy, you know, all around, all these people coming. It's almost like a social occasion as well as an incredible, wonderful function, you know, in terms of getting fresh, fresh food, fresh vegetables, fresh baked goods. All Still kinds need of a grocery store, though, right? Yeah, but you know, I, I, I'm I'm surviving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why do you need a grocery store? I've got like 24 restaurants within a two-block area. There you go. I know. Don't even have to cook. I know. <laughs> well, let's talk about the shows that you're going to have here in December. All right. Um, all three galleries are going to feature holiday mosaic. Yes. And we call it a mosaic because you have all these different parts coming together, all these different art forms coming together. And um, it's something we have actually had this holiday mosaic thing for 25 years. And one of the things that will go along with that is, of course, the gallery walk. So it'll be holiday festivals in the Haymarket. And we have our lights all strung up, so everybody will be decorated. It'll be, it'll be great. Now, you've also got um, a special exhibit, Reaching. 
And tell us about that. Uh, it's, a, it's a new word turner that we have. He's actually from Grand Island, so he's one of the associated members, of which there are like 40, 42, 45 of them. And he does absolutely exquisite word turning. He has, you know, um, I want to say almost like a, a Japanese uh, beautifully um, designed piece. And then he has really huge pieces, too. So it's, it's pretty exciting to have him in the building. He's starting out with just a small little special exhibit, uh, which will be actually part of the holiday show. So there will be several openings in the building going on, as well as his special exhibit. So that's kind of special, too. Now, from your studio here at the front of the building, you can see the arena being oh built. Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> are you, how excited are you about the future of this whole area? Oh, my, it, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. There are some times that I see six, eight cranes working on different projects over there. And it just seems like it's energizing the whole area. And I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of the area. I think it'll be a real boom to Lincoln. And how does it affect your work? It doesn't affect my work at all. I mean, I, I paint these tranquil scenes that are almost like meditations to me. <laughs> so, um, you know, I can see all this stuff going on. And, of course, there's a lot of noise and construction next door, too. So they're doing a couple new buildings over there. Just so a little oasis here. It is. It yeah. is. All right. And thank you so much, and uh, thank you for what you've created here in the Haymarket well, and for being a, a pioneer. The Burkholder Project is at 719 P Street. And if you'd like to find out more, burkholderproject.com is the website. You can check out all the different artists and all mm -hmm. the different events going on here. And uh, Anne, it's always a pleasure to come down and oh, browse. It's a, a delight to be here, and it's a delight to come in and talk to you. And, and, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you again. All right. I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> when we come back, we'll check out all the holiday events with Jeff Mall from the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Stay with us. The reconstruction of the uh, Centennial Mall gives everyone an opportunity to participate in the history of Nebraska. And we want to take this opportunity to build it as an extension of the state capitol. When it's all done, it's going to be beautiful substantial, educational, and a, a source of pride for all Nebraskans, I believe. Welcome back to Out and About, and Jeff and I are in a holiday mood here. We got a few decorations from the office across the hall here, and we're ready to go. Looks nice, though. Yeah. I mean, you got the Nutcracker, you have Santa, you have a very festive Christmas tree, somewhat of an, an artsy type object. It is. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right, we're going to start with our friend the Nutcracker. We are. The Nutcracker will arrive at the Leeds Center uh, for Performing Arts, Lincoln Midwest Ballet Company's 20th ana 28th anniversary event. Wow. Featuring 200 young dancers from southeastern Nebraska. It will also feature the music of the Nebraska Symphony Chamber Orchestra. Great holiday classic, 28 years. Some of my favorite Christmas music is from the Nutcracker. Yeah, I'm kind of tapping my foot right now just to some of the, the, the great themed music. All right, another great tradition, the 25th annual Keelan Family and Friends Christmas Concert is coming up. This year, it's a benefit for the People City Mission. Yes, and this will be at the Rosemont Alliance Church, a wonderful setting for this. And, uh, you know, we talk about the Keelan family. They do a lot of great things for the community. And in 25 years, this is their 25th annual concert. It's going to be a good one. All right, we also want to mention again, Let Heaven and Nature Sing at First Plymouth. This had standing room only crowds last year, so this year, two two performances. Yeah, just one last year. Make sure and uh, get in early and uh, as you, we mentioned it before and I know a lot of people are talking about it. All right, we've got some great uh, holiday themed theater coming up. Uh, don't miss Little House Christmas for all the fans of the Little House book series by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Should be fun and you remind me I probably need to make a phone call over to the Community Playhouse and get my tickets. Yes, you better. Kids are going to love this one. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Wesleyan is doing a, a, uh, the Complete Works of Christmas Abridged. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of great musical numbers. Tada has its original production, uh, the uh, Cornhusker Christmas. And again, this is a uh, collaboration with NET Radio. So this should be a lot of fun about the fictional town of Timberwoods, Nebraska. Yes, and K-O-R-N Corn Radio. I understand that there was actually a K-O-R-N Radio. In the state of Nebraska. I think it was in South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. Maybe by the Corn Palace. Could be. Okay. Could be. All right. Uh, last month we featured our friends from the Haymarket Theater. We want to plug their show again. It's a Wonderful Life. 
Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. George Bailey's life is forever changed when his guardian angel, Clarence Oddbody, chose him the world in a whole new perspective. All right. And we've got some great holiday music. The Nebraska Jazz Orchestra always has a great holiday show. This one's called High Intensity. Yeah, and this features LA trumpeter Willie Marillo is taking a break from appearing on NBC's The Voice, which is currently running, as well as ABC's Duets to bring his explosive trumpet sound to the Nebraska Jazz Orchestra. Some very, very good talent on the stage. Absolutely. Well, th our local jazz musicians are excellent. They are. They are. And we've got lots of fun at the Lead Center as well. We've got Away in the Basement, a church basement ladies' Christmas. This is a musical. Uh, Mannheim Steamroller Christmas. This one is probably sold out, but I think you could probably get on a waiting list. Yes, I think you can call the Lead Center, or that would uh, definitely take your name down. And Lori Line is back. Yeah, and her Fab Five, the 2012 Holiday Extravaganza Emanuel, featuring both Lori Line and the Fab Five, which will feature new stars on the stage this year for this event. All right, and just down the street from the Lead is the Children's Museum, and they have a lot of fun planned for the holidays as well. They're going to be they they're going to feature the new uh, BNSF Railways train exhibit with a, every Saturday with a special story. Special reading of the Polar Express. This is one movie and book that I love, and I know I know we just hung a couple ornaments on the tree that feature the Polar Express and uh, you readings have begin. Your tree up? We do. You don't. <sighs> It's not, well, we're taping, it's not even December, oh, Jeff. Oh, it's the day after Thanksgiving. It's officially <laughs> okay to do it then. <laughs> okay. Readings begin at the top of every hour at the Children's Museum. All right. Candy House Fun Shop. If you don't want to, uh, to get all the messy <laughs> stuff yourself, you can go to the Children's Museum and they have it all right there for you. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to build your own candy fun house. Bring your creativity and they'll take care of the cleanup. Uh, take home kits for $25 each. And that will be available starting November 30th and will include a candy house frame, frosting, and all the goodies for decorating. Reservations are required, so take down their number, jump to their website, and get your reservation early. And don't eat so much candy that you don't have any for the house. Oh, that's <laughs> the fun part. <laughs> The Children's Museum also has a fun way for kids to celebrate New Year's Eve. It's Make Believe Midnight. This is the perfect opportunity, those parents with young children, to get out to the Children's Museum. Event starts at 6.30 on uh, New Year's Eve. Great chance to drop the ball at the Children's Museum at 8 o'clock. Still get the kiddos in home and in bed, and then the adults can go out or just celebrate at home for New Year's Eve. All right, and there is there are plenty of events for adults to take part in. Tom Lorenz is going to tell us about the big bash at Pershing coming up mm -hmm. uh, on the next segment. But we do want to mention the last blast with the Plymouth Brass. That's a mouthful. I got that out right <laughs> this year. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of one of Lincoln's musical treasures, the Plymouth Brass, and this eclectic program of brass and organ favorites. Another one, we talked about the 35th annual, the 28th annual. Really, the theme of this show should be holiday traditions it and really all is. the great things that we do in the community. All right. There's also a couple of great events to celebrate at the Grand Mance. They're having kind of the usual mm -hmm. New Year's Eve party yeah. with the band and the noisemakers and all that, but they're also doing a murder mystery. <laughs> before that. Two great opportunities. They have kind of the glitter, glitter at the manse, they're calling it the fun one, the traditional one you're talking about. But the murder mystery event that day will go from 4.30 to 7.45 with a cocktail hour, a lot of different clues presented throughout the evening, and a true murder mystery, something a little bit different to do on New Year's Eve. Maybe if you don't have dancing in you, you can take in this. There you go. Now we do want to mention a couple of events to start off the new year. One is at the Pioneers Park Nature Center, which is a great place to go all year round. And this will be at the Prairie Building at Pioneers Park. Children of all ages are welcome to the Prairie Building for some great holiday storytelling joining local musicians, some instruments will be provided, or bring your own musical instrument. You may have one laying around the house. All right. You got a guitar laying at home? Maybe one of those noisemakers from the, the uh, New Year's Eve celebration. New Year's Eve. Take those out there. Give it a shot. All right. Songs from the Cinema, a cabaret series at Tada, and uh, they, they assure us that no 3D glasses will be necessary for this show. <laughs> Some familiar yet obscure, wonderful music and, and great kind of a, an interpretation from the big screen, like you said, without the 3D glasses. Everything the Tada Theater does continues to amaze me. As, the, as well as everything else we have going on in the community. And this is going to feature some of the top vocalists that you've seen in other Tadal productions, so that should be great. Yes. Now something to enjoy all year round at the From Nebraska Gift Shop. <laughs> um, there are now, they carry wine from 18 different wineries. Who knew? Nebraska wineries. Who knew we had 18 different wineries? We have more. A lot of them are up and coming. This is a called the second Saturday sipping at the From Nebraska gift shop in the Haymarket. Great chance to go out there on uh, every second Saturday and enjoy a different wine. 
It's a great little gift shop. Connie Mahaney does a great job and uh, just a lot of great products from across the state of Nebraska. And it's fun to see the wine industry growing in Nebraska. I guess that is part of our past, that this is a good place to grow, grow grapes. So yeah, actually, every year we go to our state travel conference. We were in Garing, Nebraska this year, and we talked a lot about the growth of the wine industry and uh, had a chance to try rhubarb wine. Ooh. And it was interesting. It tasted obviously a lot like rhubarb, and it actually had pulp in the bottom of the bottle, which I thought was a little bit different. Sounds like something you could put on ice cream. I think you probably could. All right. We want to mention a couple of art exhibits. We had a great visit with Ann Burkholder at the Burkholder mm -hmm. Project, and they've got some great things up all month. Um, this one is at A to Z Printing, and they have a they have a great venue there at their at their shop for uh, displaying art. Yeah, it's uh, Introspector is a painting and small work show from A to Z printing. New paintings and small works such as Bleed Out, Off My Back, and We Had Blue Skies, as well as the new painting, We Come Around. Great venue for some art. All right, we've got a uh, first time shower at the Lux. This is a gentleman, Paul Eshelman, who uh, has an Illinois studio, been there about 25 years, mm -hmm. but this is his first solo exhibition at the Lux. Yes, Paul takes pride in pure clean glazes that render an elegant presentation of food and drink. A lot of simple terracotta forms. I'm a big fan of what they're doing at the Lux Center for the Arts. Carlos is a great individual. He's kind of spreading the word and definitely a North Lincoln hotspot for the art. Absolutely. And now for something completely different, go-karts. It's a great way to end the year is get out in one of those little carts and scoot around. But these guys are, these guys and gals are professionals. All ages. All ages. And this year, the, the Cart Shootout Promotions is excited to have Rowdy Jordan of Chase and Race and Illustrated, one of the top motorsports magazines and websites out there, as well as photography, coming out and photographing the second annual Indoor Speed Dash National Championships, along with that full weekend of racing. And uh, I know they came away from their Turkey Chase Shootout at the Lancaster Event Center for Go-Karts, had a great crowd, and uh, it's a great indoor uh, opportunity to go take in auto racing and uh, you know, kind of get away from those winter doldrums. That's right. I checked out the, um, was it Chase and Racing uh, mm -hmm. website, and a lot of these drivers have nicknames like Lugnut, Bubba, Pitbull, but there's one guy who whose name is Bull. Real name is Bull. Real that's name no is nickname. Bull. That's his Who's name. your money on there? I mean, I know you're not a betting gal, um, but who I are you going to go I with? I like Mr. Wiggles. Really? Yeah. I kind of like the Buckeye Tornado. Buckeye Tornado? Yeah. And uh, they might be there. They yeah, might be out at the event center. And they're racing for prizes, a thousand dollars, and a custom tailored leather driving jacket. Ooh! You have one? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Get you a go kart. I'll ask for one for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Jeff. Again, Lincoln.org is the website where you can check out all the great events going on in Lincoln. Um, and we've got some phone numbers there, a local number. Give Jeff a call and just say hi and congratulate him on getting his Christmas tree up early. That's right, and uh, I'll give you a Friday Fast Facts and a, and a list of things to do in the community. All right, thanks, Jeff. When we come back, Tom Lorenz will join us with uh, all the latest from Pershing. Stay with us. Hi, this is Ryan with LES's Save Money, Saving Energy. Did you know that proper insulation levels can help reduce your heating and cooling costs? You can check your attic insulation level with this very advanced high-tech tool called a ruler. Make sure you have 14 to 16 inches of insulation for maximum energy efficiency. It'll help reduce drafts and allow your heating and cooling systems to not have to work so hard. Think of it as saving money by the inches, you know, $1, $2, $3, you get the idea. For more ways to save, visit LES.com today. See you next time. Happy Holidays from the Out and About staff. <laughs> Welcome back to Out and About. The rumors are flying that shows have been booked for Pinnacle Bank Arena. You're going to give us a scoop today? They have been. We've been working hard on uh, getting uh, getting some shows ready for Pinewood Bowl or uh, for Pinnacle Bank, and uh, we are very excited. We know that we have three shows locked in. The first show will be on September 13th. The second show will be September 19th, and we have another show on November 9th. Doesn't mean we're done, it just means we have those locked in. This is a little bit far out in the process to, to lock some of these in, but because of uh, some of the way some of the tours are going together, you know, we were able to get some things kind of set. It, uh, we're, we're just finishing up the seating manifests and getting those type of things ready so we can get the information back to the promoters. We're really excited. They're gonna be three great shows. Um, we think they're all gonna sell out. Um, the, the 
agents and the promotion companies and everything out in Los Angeles and Nashville and are very excited about the Pinnacle Bank Arena and the numbers that we're providing them as far as seating capacity and, and access is, is terrific. So we're going to have a very nice building for concerts. And we're coming off a great summer of shows at Pinewood Bowl and you're starting to work on that. We are. Well. We've already started putting some offers for Pinewood Bowl and um, you know uh, that was a that really builds into what we're doing at Pinnacle also. The same type of the agencies CAA and William Morris and some of the other groups out there had a great experience at Pinewood Bowl. People responded so well. They loved the setting. So it makes it that much easier to book Pinewood Bowl and because some of those same agents are talking to you know some of the artists we had at Pinewood Bowl potentially could do the arena at a different time there's that nice connection Lincoln's on the map we're very happy with that with the way those things are just really dovetailing together all right <coughs> well give us the latest on the Lincoln Haymakers I know they have a website now LincolnHaymakers.com this is our new indoor football team you know we had a great experience in the past with indoor football and uh, we've had several different groups that have asked us over time but the group that came to us with the Lincoln Haymakers really had a good solid foundation the guys that are doing it have run run indoor football before uh, they've got some of the equipment they have a team they have a great financial backer which is really an important part to doing this and uh, we were able to put together you know the deal they wanted and an in order and a way to do six home games for them uh, the first one starts late March We've got a, you know, some in April, some in May, and then they finish up their season about the second week in June, and then we've got some dates held for playoffs. It's going to be exciting again to have. It's, you know, people have asked me constantly when indoor football comes back, and these guys are here and ready to play. All right. LincolnHaymakers.com is their website, and if you order season tickets by January 1st, you get a free T-shirt. Yep. Be the first one on your Be block. the first one out there and start to get some of that uh, Haymakers uh, uh, swag out there for your neighbors. So. All right. You've, we've also got a new show to announce coming up February 1st, Brantley Gilbert. You know, we don't rest. We just keep going, <laughs> and, and Brantley is going to be a really good show at, at uh, Pershing. It's, uh, he's an up-and-coming country star. You know, we saw Jason Aldean play here and then really blow up and become huge, and uh, Brantley's on that same track. Um, you know, really kind of a, a rock and roll country. Uh, Kip Moore is a great support artist for him. Um, we're ha very happy. We've been trying to get Brantley for a little while, and we've got the deal done. Um, it, it's a, a February 1st show. You know, it's a great time of year. There's not a whole lot of other things going on. We're really looking forward to that show, and those tickets go on sale. To, we're filming this on Thursday and they go on sale on a Friday. We had a pre-sale that sold pretty good. So I hope that uh, everyone that's listening gets out there and gets your tickets early. All right. Well, let's run through some of the other events coming up in December and January. We've got the Cornhusker Marching Band Highlights Concert coming up the 7th. The 14th is Disorderly Conduct and Seasons Beatings, yep. Mixed Martial Arts. We, we like to talk about that. You know, the, the to have mixed martial arts in there, we've got a really great cage and it's a really safe one for the guys to work in. It's round and um, MMA continues to be mixed martial arts continues to be a really growing kind of a sport and you know there's it's not just street fighting there's a lot of strategy in it there's a lot of different moves that they make um, and we've got some good guys that are here the, the guys that are putting the show on have helped us book the athletes for the other shows and so now this new promoter is uh, uh, very connected in with the athletes. W Lincoln's a good hotbed for that, so uh, great. that's a great thing to come out and check out. All right, kudos to the Elks Club. Their 105th annual free children's Christmas party is, is another great tradition. You know, it, it's, it really pulls at your heartstrings when you see those kids come in. They get to see Santa. They get to do some great things. They, uh, uh, those guys do a very nice show, and it's a great service to Lincoln. All right. We've got the Oak Ridge Boys coming for their Christmas show December 18th. Perfect timing. Oh, uh, it's, it's a really nice date. You know, it's not on a weekend, so you're not up against parties and those kind of things. Uh, these guys have been, you know, a, a, a mainstay of country music for so long. They do a wonderful show. They're warm, personal people. We get to meet some of the artists once in a while and these are some of the nicest guys in the industry and they do a terrific show and, and uh, it's selling well so again that's one of those things that people need to uh, you know get on their radar and get out there and get those tickets all right now you're looking for something for the kids to do over holiday break you've got Sesame Street and we've got five shows of Sesame Street this year because we're doing it in that break time we'll have two shows on Friday two on Saturday and one on Sunday lots of opportunities to come down it's always fun to see Big Bird and the gang and and uh, it, those are always quality shows. Um, uh, it, it's very nice to continue to be able to bring them back. All right, get your dancing shoes on New Year's Eve at Pershing with a couple of 
our favorite bands, the Wee's Tones and Soul Dog. Those guys are so good year after year, and we had such a great time last year, and the sales are running ahead of last year. Um, it, we had terrific turnout, and, and uh, uh, people just enjoyed it. It's one of those nice, nice evenings that you can get out. Um, you know, it, 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 it's easy parking around Pershing. So uh, again, we're, we're very happy to have them, and we're very happy to be uh, partnered with Broadcast House also. All right. Here come the brides, January 6th. You've got the KFOR Bridal Forum, and shortly after that, a couple weeks after that, you've got the rodeo. Yep, and rodeo is, this is the PRCA rodeo. This is all the different events, top-notch stock, uh, really, really good people that come in and make this happen. Um, uh, it, it, there, there isn't a better rodeo you'll see and that you'll have better seats for than when you come into Pershing and watch that rodeo. All right, looking far ahead, the Harlem Globetrotters are coming back in 2013. That's always fun. They love it here. and. You you know, every, every time their show is just a little bit different, they still make those great shots. Um, they're personable guys. And um, uh, yeah, we're just, again, we're very lucky to get to have some really nice partners that love to come to Lincoln. And Lincoln responds so well. We're very pleased with that. All right, Tom, staying busy. We got enough stuff to do, and uh, we'll, we'll come up with more. We had another show lock in today that next show we'll talk about. All right. So um, lots of fun things, and, and I want to wish you a merry, very merry Christmas. You too, Tom. We also want to remind people, www.pershingcenter.com is the website. And to get tickets, 800-745-3000. Thank you very much Thanks. for being with us. I want to thank all the guests we had today. And thank you for joining us. We hope to see you out and about.